Yo, what's up, you guys? I want to talk about this uh, murder suspect and uh, Mick uh, K. Bay body parts case. Spoke with 8 0 your side before his arrest. This guy had this lady named Stephanie uh, stay with him because I guess she didn't have no place to go or he felt sorry for her, blah 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 and then he killed her and then he uh, did remember her body and uh, he put it in the uh, lake or something like that or so uh, this is a deferred use it's for commentary purposes only I don't own the clips of this WLA News Channel 8 holds the clip. I'm just giving my commentary on it and let's go. Police say the man who let Stephanie Crone Overholt stay with him killed her and dumped her dismembered remains in McCabe Bay. The K -Bay, man arrested yeah, spoke with News Bay. Channel 8 just two days ago. Good evening, I'm Keith Kate. I'm Jennifer Lee. Thank you for joining us. Tonight, that man is in custody, accused of... So, before he was in custody, he spoke to the media about it and everything. And the cops got enough evidence to arrest him. And it's very, very sad, you know. I would say that you can't really trust anybody or you can't really like live with anybody a strange person but however sometimes you get in a situation where you don't got no choice you know and somebody offers to help you so of course you accept the help but it's more to this story as we get into it let's continue we begin our coverage of this gruesome crime with Marco Villarreal. He is live at police headquarters in Tampa. Well, good evening. Robert Kessler is no stranger to the law and no stranger to News Channel 8. He actually spoke with our very own. Now, he got connections to drug charges going back all the way to the 80s. So he's a, you know, he's a career credible. And yeah, definitely he's no stranger to law enforcement at all. So let's get to you. Jeff Patterson just a couple of days ago and tonight we're looking at what he told us and what he told police. Detectives say it's a tale full of lies. Hell yeah. Kind of gave her a place to stay. Hell yeah, he lied. He is lying. But uh, let's get to you. That's what Robert Kessler told Eight on Your Side about meeting Stephanie Crone Overholtz. What he told us and Tampa police seems to coincide. He met her um, somewhere at a fast food restaurant and she had said she was living out of her car at the time, so he invited her to live with him. And I invited her. I said, I got three bedrooms, two baths, and you can... Yeah, uh, sometimes talking to somebody, you would have never suspect them to really be like suspected of a crime like murder. Uh, you would never, you know, suspect them, you know, at all. But however, you know, you just never know. You just never know. So yeah, let's continue. Just stay here for a couple days, get yourself together. And she stayed here for a few days. But soon, detectives say the story did not match up with evidence in nah. the investigation. It was quickly determined that what he was telling. I think that uh, he got pissed off because she probably wouldn't, you know, like get with him or something like that, or she rejected him because she the. And that picture, she looks like a very pretty woman, very attractive woman. And he looks like a really ugly man. This is other fur use for commentary. 
So, possibility. I've not tried to drop the gun or nothing like that, but possibility. This was not factual. Detectives report that Stephanie was indeed staying at Kessler's home in Lutz when she disappeared. On November 11th, a fisherman found a human leg in McKay. Ooh, a human leg. Oh, wow. Shoot. Oh, man. He, he like, really, like, went all out. You know, like, oh, man, that's... That's horrible. That's like really, really horrible. Yeah. Hey, Bay. The next day, more body parts were found. Ooh. The horrific story broadcast by the media, along with the tattoo on her leg, released by police, got the attention of her family. After identifying her, the investigation picked That's up speed. Right and they got a search warrant, and then they took my van, and they're not going to find There's no evidence in there. There's evidence of sheep. Yeah, yeah. The police found what they were looking for. They found evidence. They found um, her blood right in his car. And he said the police would find no evidence, but the police actually did find evidence because her blood was right in his car. Why was her blood right in his car? Because he did something really horrible to her. You know what I'm saying? Let's continue in here probably or something like that that turned out to be false says the interim chief of police in fact we located some of stephanie's blood in her car uh and we did a search warrant on mr kessler's house where we found more blood Ooh, but yeah you guys uh, i'm glad that they really you know connect dots and they found significant amount of evidence to uh, pretty much to arrest him but now they gotta you know convict him and stuff in court so we'll see how this thing plays off it had not been a lot of talked about it you know maybe some media has spoken about it, but this is really my first time really hearing about this. So, yeah, hope everybody's having a really awesome day. I'm probably going to give me a better microphone. So whenever I do my videos, uh, y'all can hear me a lot better. And, the, and plus the audio will sound more high so yeah um have a good one have a blessed one and i hope to hear from y'all soon bye bye